what's up everyone, it's Maddie Carver back with another video. I was going to film this video on my Chromebook, but it didn't show much detail when I tried filming it. It was hard to see the colors, and it has this blue light. It's not too bad. I may film a sit down talk video on there, but um, maybe some videos, but this wasn't the case. It was kind of hard to film. It has a little worse quality in this, but it's kind of the same at the same time. The thing I do like about it is that I can flip the camera instead of like uh, changing different scenes and like stop recording, you know. And then flip the camera, but I can just flip the camera because it has, like, this kind of thing. It's, like, the Lenovo. So, and I will show you what I mean by, like, the blue light. So, let me go to my camera app. See, you guys, this blue light. And it's not too bad. Like, you can't, it just, like, it just kind of shows in my glasses a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, but, yeah, maybe some videos will be filmed on there. And if you guys want to see a video on my drone once I get a review video on my drone once I get to flying it better, maybe it's been just too windy and cold and stuff, so it's kind of hard. But this, but um, I also like on my phone whenever I film on my phone, I can pause it instead of like making a new clip. But anyway, uh, as I said, but um, anyway, so um, this alarm clock, um, basically it's pretty cool. I just you have to plug it in and um, which I got it plugged in, and you have like a cord like in the back you have to plug in from like I'll show you like right here I wish you could just take it to the beach it didn't need plugged in but I guess that's the specialty of the LED or alarm clock systems to function I don't know but I I this is made by iHome not sponsored by the way I wish um it's a pretty cool alarm clock this is the radio antenna right here that's a quick review of the back this is the snooze button and it can also dim the light so, that's pretty cool. As you can see the Z's right there for snooze. I'm going to be reviewing it and showing you guys today. Um, this is going to be fun. So, let's get on with this video. Alright, so I'm just going to show the features first. So, basically, you can dim the light like I basically just said. And then you got the color function. This is fade, which it fades really slowly. I don't know. This Yeah, this shows the color a little bit better. Um... So there's fade. It doesn't show it too um, well, but it's better than my Chromebook the way it showed it. So this is one color, so I can pick any color. Let's say um, I like to go on fast and pick a color from there. So let's say I want blue. So one color. That's my color, you know. And then there's pulse. I don't know what pulse is. I'm guessing it's a really slow changing from color, but it takes a while, I guess. Because one time I woke up and it was a different color. And then this is sky, which this is what the sky looks like right now, I'm guessing. It's very pretty. Um, lamp. You know, it's a lampshade. And then you got off. But overall, I really do like it. Um, this is, um, if you have your phone hooked up to Bluetooth, you can talk to Siri or Google. And this, if you press this, um, that is, that will go to the app. And this you can, like, skip a song, I'm pretty sure. Or go back or whatever. Yeah, skip, pause a song. Wait, no, that's pause, play. Yeah. Um, this is alarm. This will, like, if you press, this is alarm one and this is alarm two. If you press that, I'm guessing the alarm, like, it's not snooze. Like, if you press that, it would snooze for nine minutes. But if you press these two, um, it'll turn it off until, like, the next morning. And then volume, wait, no, this is, I'm guessing, back, go back a song, and then skip a song. This is mode, which just will take you to radio, which I'm guessing is not a good signal right now. Yeah, you can kind of see the radio. Looking for Bluetooth signal. You can kind of hear it. Um, this is power. I'm not sure what this technically does. Sleep. Look. Oh, yeah, this is the timer for sleep mode. No. Here we go. Um, yeah. Volume up, volume down. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys, but, uh, sorry. Sometimes I pause because I don't know when it's recording and when it's not. But that was basically a sleep timer, I'm guessing. So it shows, like, um, when, like, it's a timer for, like, my... I guess if you want to take a nap or something, you only want a 60-minute nap. Oh, great. I'm, this is very sensitive, but... If you want a 60-minute nap or if you want so-and-so nap, I'm guessing it's kind of like a small alarm for that. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the features of it. Uh, there's a couple left. This is like, I'm guessing he turns it off and on. Pretty sure. Something like that, I don't know. Oh, more radio? What? Oh, this got this, uh, this is the, uh, date. What? Okay, I kind of, I don't know what that did, but, um, I was kind of, I'm still kind of iffy on some, like, some, um, some, uh, buttons with this. Sometimes I don't really know some things that this has, but I know, like, the overall feature. And if you press this button back here, it pairs it, like, you have your Bluetooth on, it pairs it. Um, now to the app. Like, to the app, basically, I'm going to pull it up on my Chromebook real quick, quick and I'll be right back with you guys. So basically, since I'm filming this on my Chromebook, I, I don't have it on my Chromebook, but I have it on my phone. This is what overall looks like. And um, this is what it looks like when you first have it. And then what you want to do is you want to hit which one you have. And it's obviously this one right here. And then once you do that, I'll say configuring your device. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to connect. And it will say... Oh, it looks a little different on my phone, but it basically says these these four options. Alarms, action button, sleep timers, and color mode, and it basically changes that. Eh, wrong button. And then color mode, you can pick any color that can turn your alarm that color. And you can do it, to, and it'll go to the beat of the music. And if there's a call, it'll blink and say, instead of like, the time right here, it'll say call and it'll blink in like a green color. It's really cool. And then this is the alarms. So you can turn off and on the alarm, but when you turn off and on your alarm, uh, it has to be on your phone. Like when you have to have it connected, turn it off and on. I'm pretty sure that's the way I've been doing it. If it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, I do most of the part, but some stuff I still struggle with on this because sometimes it tricks me a little bit. It's the radio station. I don't know if you can see it. Focus, please. Yeah, so basically it kind of did focus. And that's pretty much all it says. But sometimes I have a little trouble with it connecting. I had a lot of bad... I looked at it and had a lot of bad reviews on it. And, um... Uh, it's the app, like the app did, but the uh, speaker didn't really... Um, but it doesn't give me too much trouble. Sometimes it has a little trouble connecting so um, to the app and sometimes my phone. But other than that, it's not it's not been a too bad device. I really enjoy it. I have this on at night. Uh, it's definitely the perfect gift to give someone if they love listening to music or if they um, are scared of the dark. This is a perfect one because it lights up your room. A lot. Oh, I had a little trouble sleeping when I had the light on. I know I can turn it off. It's just, I love the light on, but now I'm used to it. Um, I wish you could, you didn't need to have this plugged into work so you could take it to the beach and stuff. Or, like, take it on, like, a car ride or whatever. I guess some cars have some plugins in them. But, uh, take it, which mine, I could actually take it in the car. Because mine has, like, a plug into the wall one, like, in the back. But it depends on which one will fit. I'm pretty sure it would work. But mo most cars probably don't have that. Well, some, um, I wish, you know, you could take it places other than that, or the park, or something like that. Maybe not the pool, because it could get wet, but you take it at your own risk. But I really enjoy this. Um, I think iHome did a good job, so good job, good job, good job, iHome. You did a very good job. It will turn a pretty color when it's con trying to connect, whenever it says pair. I'm pretty sure. Pair. Pairing. Yeah, see? It'll turn, like, the pride bi color for the bi flag, and it'll blink until, like, you pair it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to... Still struggling with this slightly. Oh, yeah. If you press... I figured it out. If you press off and you keep holding it, it'll turn off whatever feature. So... Eh. I'm just looking at it for a minute. Hang on. Okay, I didn't know what it was doing for a minute. Sometimes this confuses me, so, like, I get confused easily with this thing on, like, what it does, because sometimes it'll, like, beep, like, and I'll hit a certain button, 
and it's an accident, like, they'll try to turn off the alarm somehow and then mess it up and, like, sometimes, I don't know, like, it beeps sometimes. Sometimes it might but don't. But I really enjoyed this product. Uh, it's very cool. I really, it has a good sound quality. I would play music, but I don't want to get copyrighted, you know, YouTube. It's a new thing. Well, actually, it's been a while, but... Yeah, I really like the conversation thing because it's like you're having a text message. I personally have an Android, which you, some of you may know. So, um, I, it looks like a text message when I'm talking to Google. I accidentally called Google Siri and she wasn't too happy about that. But yeah, if I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but radio thing again. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And if you guys want to follow my Instagram, it's Maddie Cartwheel underscore four. And, yeah. To my fellow kangaroos, that's a wrap. We are out.